Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. As we do with every set, once we get the full reveals, today we'll be talking about cards you should pick up from Ultimate Squad that'll serve as generally useful staples for whatever color you are playing. We'll get into that in today's video. If you're new here, though, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And if you guys want to help support the channel, many ways down in the description to do so as always but today guys if you want to buy or pre-order any of the cards we talk about in today's video you can always use my link in the description to tcg player really does help me out i really do appreciate all you guys anyways that being said let's get started all right so before we actually talk about this card i want to just mention that this time around in ultimate squad the majority of the cards you're going to want to pick up that i'm going to recommend to you guys happen to be srs hasn't really been that way in past recommendation videos i've done because the sets were structured a different way this time around the srs are some of the most generic cards playable in most colors and the commons and rares and whatnot aren't the most generic they're more so like archetype based but with that being said my recommendation for picking these up is gonna be waiting a bit after a release probably a week or two after release typically when that happens the prices of srs drop pretty significantly it's, it's during pre-release really where a lot of the SRs are really inflated, and that's if you're more on a budget. If you need the card immediately, I mean, you know, more power to you, pick it up if, as soon as you want to. But generally, if you're trying to be more on a budget, pick up low rarity stuff for as cheap as you can, you generally want to wait a week to two weeks after actual release. So this weekend's pre-release coming up, you'll want to wait about three weeks from this weekend if you want to pick this up at the cheapest thing, uh, usually. But anyways, getting into the specific card itself, I'm recommending Goku, Pan, and Trunks Galactic Explorers because it's really a boss monster that just about any red deck can play. Most red decks are playing unisons right now, so as long as you're playing a unison that uh, reaches 10,000 power or more, you can play this card. Uh, one thing I was just thinking about, which kind of piggybacks off of uh, a video from a day or two ago, is that Red Jiren can actually play this card. It's a little bit convoluted though, but like what you have to do is you have to use an Evolve to make your topo unison become 10k for the turn and this card does not check original power for using its ability to tuck itself under a unison so as long as you can evolve with topo in play you can make your topo unison 10k for the turn use this sr's effect to put itself under topo and then any point you're able to after that you can use the pay three to play this from under topo it's kind of funny in that way that this is a uh, again basically playable in every single red deck i've even seen some builds of universe 7 goku starting to adopt this card uh before the ban list happened we were kind of testing this card in king piccolo there are just a lot of different strategies you can use this card in and spirit boost 3 for the triple attack and the board wipe is not really super far-fetched for most red decks like you have really good red unisons like piccolo jr again before the ban list but now you have um the mass sand unison which gains markers in a similar way and you have a lot of great ways to defend that like after image like violent rays all the different all the different cards in red that can de help defend unisons so besides two drop unisons you have like jiren unison sin unison these tankier unisons that should theoretically keep markers a lot more easy so i'm just saying that all to say that spirit boost three is not like a super ridiculous cost or anything for red unison decks and this is a really cool card to pick up if you're a red player because this is a red boss monster you can play in just about any deck which i do like a lot then we have baby juvenile parasite we have a three drop 10k unison permanent leader card is red and all of your energies in rest mode your leader gains plus 1000 power so if you end up tapping out a lot this is going to give your leader essentially a sensu bean permanent if this card would lose a marker from an opponent's attack you may place one card from under this card in order to drop instead so it's got its own protection activate main plus one draw one card then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it under this card this card gets plus 10,000 power for the turn so it swings for 20k so if you're playing a red deck that maybe doesn't have the best unison to facilitate the card we just talked about you can easily splash this card into your deck it's a tankier unison you can put the goku pan trunks sr under this to make it even tankier and all the cards you absorb from your opponent's board are going to be able to act as defenses for this unison's markers which is really really good this is uh, i believe the first three cost unison besides like the ss gohan unison uh that draws cards and has actually got a pretty playable effect um acting as removal every single turn and drawing cards is really really strong so if you're playing a red deck maybe again like a u7 goku that wants to adopt more of a mid-range strategy and play three cost unisons baby seems like a really good way to go but besides that i mean again this is going to be a red unison that's just good in red decks so definitely a, a card worth picking up for red players 
then we have vegeta proud warrior this is pretty much going to represent all the multicolor super combos these are all uncommons in the set so they should be very very easy to pick up especially if you go for the non-foil um non-spr artwork of them this should be real easy to pick up like less than a dollar per play set you never know when you're going to switch up colors you never know when you're going to play a multicolor deck and a lot of these you don't even actually have to be playing a truly dedicated multicolor deck take vegeta for instance all you have to be really be doing is playing red or green you don't really need to play multicolor red green for the purpose of this card which is to you know summon you a cyberman blocker token right so these cards are all very good to pick up i actually did a whole video where i talked about these multicolor super combos and compared them to their older i think it's set nine multicolor super combo counterparts so if you want to check that out should be from a week or two ago definitely recommend it but yeah definitely want to pick up all these cards it's a good staple to have going forward the next pickup is ss2 gohan z fighter so this unit is really really good although i don't love it in every yellow deck only because the auto is not super usable in most yellow decks you're not really playing a ton of unisons in yellow decks that are not uh unison goku so don't love that but the plus one drawing card is always good the blocker is solid and the minus three is actually really cool because this card and your leader keep that 5,000 power boost until the end of the next turn so i do actually really like the fact that your leader essentially gets sensu beamed if you don't happen to kill them with this thing's triple attack plus whatever else you can mount as an attack so yeah really good card to pick up for yellow definitely i'm um, gonna be leaning towards a different play style of yellow where a lot of yellow decks were playing the trunks unison for that dual attack and the spot removal this is going to be more of like a you know sustainable engine of drawing cards as well as like its own kind of game ending pressure but real quick guys we'll get into the rest of the recommendations we do have a word from today's video's sponsor yo dragon ballers quick break in the video to give a huge shout out to ppg who is going above and beyond to make our organized play season the best that it can possibly be i'm here on the ppg event management website i'm going to link this down in the description so all you have to do to sign up for any of these events is go down to that link but anyways real quick we have momocon at the end of may where there is a guaranteed case tournament for dragon ball super next up is the origins event which is a huge huge one guys they have events going from wednesday to saturday practically every single day of the con you can play a dragon ball super event among other card games it's gonna be an absolutely incredible time next up after that we have an event in denver which is for the pro play tour organized season not only are you playing for an invite to the pro play invitational but you're also playing for two thousand dollars guaranteed and if you want to guys there is also a team war event in that same weekend and team war is one of the best formats to play if you haven't played a tournament with your friends you absolutely have to do it and then finally an event that i know for sure that i'll be attending is the too many games convention in philadelphia this is actually a regional for the regular dragon ball super organized play season so again guys super huge shout out to ppg secondly this website is so awesomely laid out all you have to do is go to this website all these different tabs here will take you to the events you want to sign up for i hope to see you guys there let's get back into the video all right shout out to ppg as always anyways getting back into things we have trunks from the future very simple card one drop add one card from light to hand when this card attacks gains plus 11 000 power for the turn then at the end of the turn switch this card to active mode so this is a really nice self awakener that as far as i know right now i believe red and blue both have respective versions of this but yeah this is a this is a um self awakener that is somewhat difficult for your opponent to interact with at least in the first like two turns of the game normally and the one big deck that i've been trying this with is set one golden frieza if you guys remember my list from nationals or any lists you know kind of prior to that a lot of people were playing the master roshi uh power booster promo to basically play it take a life then it has an additional activate main pay another energy take another life this trunks is a similar role in that it helps self awaken but you only have to theoretically invest the one energy into this card and it'll hopefully survive thanks to the fact that it switches itself back to active mode so you can continually use it to self awaken that's the main idea behind the card if you're playing any other yellow decks that kind of get stuck at high life this could be a really really good card to look into then we have golden frieza newfound might so this card is an absolute mvp tank powerhouse for the green cooler deck coming out in ultimate squad but it's just a good green unison um a lot of good green unisons exist out there namely like generic ones like demigra like ss3 vegeta resolute agent of destruction and this card can just play over any of those especially for the counter attack to wipe your opponent's board that's a really powerful play that can end turns against the right matchups and the minus four is going to give you another game ending kind of uh win condition which is really good so if you're playing a deck that has unisons that kind of you know maintain markers pretty well don't lose them super easily and you're able to empower into this guy at some point again especially during your opponent's turn that's going to be a really really big swing in tempo where your opponent's board is gone and now they have to deal with this uh rather uninteractable 
dual attack, triple strike, 30k. That's going to actually block again on the next turn. So real good card to pick up for green for sure. Then we have results of research. So this card is not like the strongest thing ever by any means, but I thought it was a cool pickup because the pay six ability is technically playable in any Android deck. Like that could be black Androids, that could be green Androids, blue Androids, of course. You pay six, you play sell perfect force from your hand, make your opponent discard down to three cards. It's a pretty cool combo to adopt. Maybe certain matchups is actually worth sideboarding. Like let's say you're playing, I don't know, um, Gamma one and two, or even like a weird black mirror deck. You're playing those and you're playing against like hatch yak the game's gonna go super dumb long you know you're gonna get to turn six you just pay six perfect force sell them they don't see it coming uh that does seem like a pretty cool play to me in my opinion then we have android 17 and 18 limitless energy so i talk about this card a lot during the gamma archetype reveal and the thing i like about this card a lot is that it serves a very similar role to the ss3 gogeta unison in blue and the super saiyan trunks unison in yellow in that it's a rather uninteractable dual attacker albeit this is a battle card as opposed to those cards being unisons but this guy does have deflect which helps protect him from a slew of counterplays right so with that in mind this is a 20k dual attacker just like those cards but it costs one less energy so basically for the trade-off of being a little bit more vulnerable to some things you're getting the trade-off of saving an energy in playing this card it's very very good on play also offers your removal of cheated in battle cards the card is incredibly incredibly good and the fact that you can play it from hand via its activate main uh just makes it playable in any blue green deck you might play even though it won't negate energy exhaust in all other blue green decks i think this will be a blue green staple uh for sure going forward and then finally we have demon god salsa preparing to fight so we have a one drop 4k battle card the swap is not super relevant unless you're playing a deck that actually plays salsas and there's also a shroom counterpart to this which does the same exact thing except it swaps into a shroom so the auto is the important part here once per turn if you have three or less energy when your opponent plays a battle card with energy cost greater than the current energy it can't attack for the turn so basically what you're going to do is you're going to play this card to the board and let it just sit there and that's when you know your opponent's going to play a very large battle card to the board that you want to stun. And don't get me wrong, this is not like a foolproof card. This thing is very, very susceptible to counterplay, very susceptible to any form of removal they can do before they play their big bomb. But there are going to be some formats where this card is probably pretty good. And again, if you can actually make use of the swap part of it, it's going to have multi-purpose, which is cool. It's a good staple to have if you're playing black. Again, you never know when the format will kind of call for this card to uh, to be needed. But anyways, guys, those are my recommendations for you guys to pick up for generic staples for Ultimate Squad. Let me know in the comments below if you think there are any other cards I should have mentioned in this video. We'll talk about them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.